TNT, also known as trinitrotoluene, is a high explosive formed from toluene by substitution of nitro groups for three hydrogen atoms, having the formula C6H2NO23CH3. To start us off, let's give you some information on the history of TNT. TNT was discovered in 1863 by the scientist by the name of Julius Wilbrand. And what it was used for at first might surprise you. TNT actually wasn't considered an explosive until 1902 in Germany when the military started using it to fill bombs. Until then, it was used as a yellow dye. How's that for change? And now, it's mostly used in the U.S. military and construction companies who use it as a method of rock blasting in order to make mines, dams, and roads. Now, let's make some TNT. Okay, these are the materials we will be using. Nitric acid, oleum, and sulfuric acid. First, to make mononitrotoluene, or MNT, we will be using nitric acid and sulfuric acid. Now, let's do that again to make DNT or dinitrotoluene. For the last step, to make TNT or trinitrotoluene, we will be using nitric acid and oleum. Trinitrotoluene has been used in various ways throughout the world, such as in bombs and other explosives. But you may be familiar with the TNT from cartoons, such as the Wile E. Coyote. It's been used comically in movies and in various TV shows. In reality, it is something far, far worse. As you see here, TNT is used for various ways, such as to blow up mountains in order to make buildings and destroy our environment. During wars, just a light shock against TNT can cause huge explosions and cause many accidental deaths. Terrorists use this deadly substance to wreak havoc on innocent lives. We are activists! We are against these black-hearted uses of TNT. There are so many other ways that we can utilize this substance for the good of the people. Like blowing up buildings that aren't in use anymore. It's so much more practical and doesn't destroy the magnificent environment that we can so hard to protect. Let's make a difference in this world together!